This actually drains into their pump, which has an auto filler, so. Eugenio, you're fired. You missed this part. Oh my God, it's heavy. I like to stick it on the roof. These guys have been working on this thing for several months. The neighbors here were extremely nice and understanding, but that was over two years ago. All right, I'm at a job site where, if you remember, I'll do a little backstory on it. I built this house probably a good 10, 12 years ago, and the deck had a fire pit on it, and somehow there was a leak inside the fire pit that was sitting on the deck, a concrete deck, so it, sh it was all waterproof. Does no good if the water's getting in underneath the waterproofing, which is was the case and we found out over time water is a bad thing it just totally deteriorated and ate all the structure of this wood so we've had to tear off the entire deck rebuild everything now i'm here just checking up on stuff to see what are the last few items that we need to get done so we can wrap this job up so let's go out and see how far they've got I bet they would love to get this dumpster out of their driveway. This thing's been sitting here for a while, but it's working out pretty good since Christmas is around the corner. I see they're filling it full of all their own trash. Well, that's good. Makes no sense sending back a dumpster empty since we're, oh, look at this. You guys interested in some Samsung luggage? Oh, I need to uh, give Eugenio a call. There's some good looking stuff in there. It even comes with some blow up armbands for swimming. That'll help Eugenio, he's not a good swimmer. Let me see, I love dumpster diving. Now we're just into boxes and trash. So only one good find today. Hola, Hi, how are you, amigo? Okay. You're getting, oh, you're prepping yeah. the, the stone? Yes. Oh, good, I just talked to your, your boss. Mm -hmm. He was making sure you're getting it all done. Are you putting on Durock? Yeah, so do you okay, go we'll take a look. So all this here, you get to carry down? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we checked the gate too for a okay. while, this gate. Oh, I like it. We oh. got this fixed. Okay. It, well, it, it shuts now. Well, Eugenio did, but still, still, I don't know. I'm need not... some more work. Yeah. Before it was tipping really bad, so they added a few more bolts. So maybe we just adjust this hardware. Eugenio got 98% done. That extra 2% is what makes a big difference. Looks like this thing's out of whack. We can adjust that. So. Come on in, take a look. That is all brand new deck, the entire thing. Every step is the same one except for, can you guess which step is new? Maybe this one. So I was able to go down, find the step. This has been sitting outside in the shade with water, so it's, it needs to be power washed. I had Eugenio come power wash the house to clean it up. Let me take a look at that, come up here. The handrails were missing. These are getting installed tomorrow. I had Eugenio power wash all this. I'm gonna get him back here, because if I can wipe it off with my hand, okay. look at that. Eugenio, you're fired. You missed this part. I think you only cleaned downstairs, so. Here's what we replaced. All this deck, the new Trex decking, solid surface, it was concrete, tore that all out, and we put the bladder system in. So when it rains, it collects the water down below. So the ceiling downstairs looks just like this ceiling right here, you guys. So we have can lights in downstairs. There's actually a gas lines. There's, I believe there's even speakers. So we replaced and rebuilt, this is a, kind of a freestanding fireplace that we set in place and then we stoned around it, complement the house. And now we gotta get the rock and stuff in here. So just about done. You have all new railings, new floor decking. Now let me go downstairs and see what the guys are doing. We're adding stone to the columns down below. Be careful, there's no rails. Luckily, this is December. We've got some nice weather. So we're able to do this work because usually you have to tarp everything off because of the freeze. So luckily, the guys are here prepping the bottom part of the column that will get stone. Eugenio's framed all this in. We have not painted yet because again, we need weather has to be at least 50 degrees or maybe 55 is the low night and day. And we haven't had that for quite some time. So let me show you what we did. This deck system has a gutter built inside there and we put the drain inside this column. So inside this column is a drain that comes out right down here. We left it long for right now, but once the guys get the stone on it, we'll cut that off. This actually drains into their pond, which has an auto filler, so it's not a bad thing that we keep filling the pond up. So here is a light that will light up the column. What we notice is this is the flashing that Eugenio put on, and we have stone going on here that's what, probably two, two inches? Yep, two and, inches. And then a cap, but this is too grande, too big, right? Yep. 
Yeah. I just now noticed that. So you're, can you cut, you can cut this back for me. So yep. just a little bit comes out. This just catches the water. We don't want this covering up all that big stone cap. Yeah. That's, that's too big. So, all right, good catch. Okay. okay thank you. All right, Miguel. We use green treated wood. It's always best, even though it's not touching the ground, that is something the green will help keep from rotting. And what Eugenio did when he built this, when the guys were waiting to come, they, they wanted us to finish, they wanted this all filled in. So he should have wrapped this whole thing, maybe with a Duroc, a concrete type board. But these guys have filled it all in, they're getting ready to mud it. But I don't know why he made this so large. That is way too big. What you want is to be able to see the top of the cap. And I'll see if I can find an example, if there's something around here. That should be moved back here. They're gonna do that for me. So once these stone columns are all done, that will look nice. We've already caulked everything. And then the underside of this deck, you can see the can lights. I love that when you can sit below a deck and not look up at all the floor joists. And that's a great place for bird nests, bugs, cobwebs, everything. So we keep that nice and clean. So on a home of this price range, when you're standing in your backyard looking up, it has a finished look. And that's what a lot of people forget about is they just think it's a deck and you got to finish the bottom side. It costs a little bit more, but it goes a long way. Now you have two covered spaces. Okay, there's more than one way that we can prep these things. I thought that they were going to put up a Duroc, which is a concrete, about a half inch board. But what they're doing is they're making it themselves. They, they'll wrap the product with this here and then they'll skim coat it with concrete, giving it a solid base. So then they'll come start applying the stone. There's a little bit of a language barrier. These guys that work with them before, they do a great job. So they are gonna correct a few things as far as the metal cap on top, but this should be done here in the next two days. Guys, continue to keep working. I'm gonna get out of the way. They're going to mix up some of the mortar so that and some thin set so they can get the columns prepped. I'm gonna go check on another job. You know what? I think I'm gonna re-gift this to Eugenio. Looks like new. So what makes it nice is several of the jobs I've been working on recently are all in the same neighborhood. So it doesn't take me very long to drive around and check on a few jobs. I did build a lot of homes in this neighborhood over the past 25 years. So I would like to do a tour. What do you guys let me know what you think if I should get in uh, and take you around and show you some of my favorite homes that I built in my neighborhood that I used to live in. I've lived in a lot of neighborhoods. When you're a home builder, you move a lot. Let me know if you think that would be something you guys would like to see. All right, it's another busy day. <clears throat> We're just finishing up the landscaping here on the uh, the job that's been taking over two, almost two and a half years to finish. So the landscapers with the nice day we have here in December are getting a lot of the dirt that they've removed. I'll take you down and show you, we have to hook up the sewer line. It's going all the way underground, which all the neighbors, there's probably four or five homes that drain all the way through the side yard of this house and it goes into the sewer. So it's a pretty major deal. We had to get special permits and things for it. I'll uh, show you that. I'm gonna check on the backyard, see how the pool house is coming along. Everything's done on the inside except for a few little bunch of items. So one thing was, is I'm supposed to get the dumpster exchange out. I made that call, that's already done. So let's go take a look inside. All right, this backyard's been a major project. Remember, we tore the pool out, put a whole new one in and then we gutted all their pool house area. This was a different setup. They tore everything out and put in all new tops, all new appliances. So we got a granite top here. This is the gas shut off. I'm sure that'll be, be hidden. But now you can actually put chairs up to this height. What we did is we came in and redid the wood ceiling. Matter of fact, there was no wood on it. Put wood on both ceilings outside. It has, still has to be stained. But check out all these outdoor appliances that they put in. These here are, are drawers. I thought they were refrigerated drawers, but they're not. They're just nice drawers. Man, all that is a beautiful griddle, ready to go. Obviously, you need the barbecue grill. This is a super size one. I think it's a 42, maybe 48 inch cooktop. Here's my favorite. You guys may have seen these before. These are ice chests built in. So you literally just fill this thing full of water or ice and it drains. And then here's your nice little place for condiments. If you're making drinks, put your olives on your different things. So this literally drains out. 
there's two of those, another one over here. So I think this is way better than having a refrigerator out here. I don't even think they have a refrigerator, I'm looking. This was done by the landscaper, DMS did all this. But then they have a sink. What's cool is everything, this can be lifted out. You got your chopping block, everything has a place for it to go. When you're done here, it stores, doesn't blow away, but everything has a lid. And I think that's very important. So everything's been winterized and here, is the storage room, but you have a huge spot, but let me take you and show you the bathroom that we did. Okay, the pool bath is not quite done. All the trimming, let me take you in here and show you. They left the shower tiles alone. Remember, they're, I don't know, now we're trying to save some money after all the multi-million dollar refinish. But here's a vanity that was set in place. We got new light fixtures, <clears throat> still waiting for the plumbing to come in. But all the trim has been redone. We've fixed this pocket door. This was really flimsy. That's all been redone. And now they'll have a nice pool room come summer. But we just gotta paint now. That's the last of it. And maybe a shower door. Let me know what you think. I just came in the backyard. I'm, I'm as surprised maybe as you guys are. This is AstroTurf. I did not realize the homeowner is putting down AstroTurf in his backyard. I think it's a great idea. I've done it a couple of times before, but we turned it into a putting green. This is just grass. They don't have any animals or pets. There's no need to be vacuuming or cleaning this thing off when they do their business, but there's still more to go. You have to let me know. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh my God, it's heavy. If this is just holding down the glue or if they have to sprinkle this stuff over the top. I do see another punchless item. This massive AC unit is not in its final resting spot. This is getting moved so it's out of the way of the window. Soon, I will come back. Not soon, it's gonna have to be this summer. We ran out of nice weather to finish the pool. We were able to get the water in it. Just a few more things. We're still working on the pool house, the bathroom. So I'm gonna give you a final view of what this whole backyard looks like come spring. We have a detailed time lapse of start to finish. This has been two and a half years in the making. So I am excited to be able to showcase a finished product, but I um, got that close to the finish line and mother nature had other ideas for me. So we'll keep you posted on that. So I have the original screen door that has a little couple holes in it. So I'm gonna take this to the repair shop, get it fixed as another one of my punch list items. Every time I show up at a homeowner's house, they give me things to do, but welcome to being a home builder. Oh, it just fits. That extra bed that's six inches longer saves me a lot of headache. Let's go down and check on what these guys are doing for finishing up all the drainage from the backyard. All that sewer and water pipe is coming from the top, the whole backyard, all the way down. And they have to take it down the street to connect it into the sewer drain. So these guys have been working on this thing for several months. And then you're also waiting for special permits, dealing with the city, making sure they're doing it right. When you hook stuff into their sewer, they really want to know what's going on. So they are now slowly backfilling the water and things down to so make sure we get the right um, compaction because the sidewalk is going on top of this and last thing you need is the sidewalk moving you have to come out tear it out and replace it again let me take you up here and show you this beautiful sidewalk they put in to get to the music room this here that you put down it's a flagstone a flagstone so i've seen it comes in different colors i take it i think i have more of a brown color is that a limestone uh i couldn't tell you Don't know. i didn't i wasn't a part of that do you guys so this will you set this just, it's just the way it's set. Do you have to do any more preparation to it for moved out? Uh, that once again, that's a yep. question for someone else. Is that right? Yeah. So that's out of your. It's out of your well, wheelhouse. Well, I didn't do any of the work. Oh, you're so. in charge of getting the water out of the backyard. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm well, putting the pipe in. So. Yeah, that's more important so that this thing stays where it's supposed to. Be. Nobody can fully appreciate our tight spaces that we had working in here, to, right? To get in and out oh, yeah. of the backyard. Oh, really tight. Tight in the AC unit. So I'm gonna take you guys up and show you how tight the working quarters were and to get this done so come up here this AC unit I gotta find out if what, could, what the rule good. is it'd be nice like you said if we could get that thing to go back a little bit. Does it, get it? it doesn't look so good does it so I'm gonna see what what's what's entailed I'm gonna take some pictures make sure they come out here tomorrow 
Not only is setting the AC in the back, but this one's worth open. mentioning to them to see right. if they can do it or not. Gotta, then you have these gas lines. I know we gotta stay so far away from that. So let me see what options there are to get that thing. If they can turn it, it's pretty square. So there's one more on the punch list. So we have a ramp that takes, remember everything's kind of wheelchair accessible in this whole house. This takes you down to the music room. And again, we have drains everywhere because now we've created a pit for all the water to, to accumulate. And we want to make sure it doesn't go in the house, that it goes down the street. Now we have totally locked ourselves in. There is no way to get to that backyard with the equipment. This wall was the last thing that had to be built. It looks nice, except for turn around. This doesn't look so good. So I'm going to make a phone call and figure out what we can do to get this thing shoved that way. These are monster. It's going the right direction. If I turned it more, it's going to stick out even farther. It's actually wider than it is this dimension. So, okay, it's always something. We have actually added multiple AC units to this house. These outside here, some were up there on the back of the house. And since we put an addition, we had to move it to a new location. So this one is very problematic. It's right in the path and we've maxed out the lot line. We can't move this wall over anymore. So I've got to figure out some way to get this AC unit pushed back closer to the house. I don't know what the restrictions are. If we need air from here, what that is, I'll find that out. I've taken a picture, so I'm going to send it to my HVAC guys. They're coming here hopefully tomorrow or the next day to correct this and reset the one in the backyard. But there's a reason why we can't move it to other locations. We can't put them in front of windows, especially when they're bedrooms. That's for egress. We can't put them by, look at this, a gas. We have to stay so far away from gas. We got to stay away so far from electrical panels. So hopefully we can come up with a good solution. I like to stick it on the roof. We started this job. The neighbors here were extremely nice and understanding, but that was over two years ago. I'm not sure they were realizing that we were going to be tearing up their sidewalk, but it looks like the, uh, the landscapers went ahead and helped them bury their downspouts into this. But this, their entire sidewalk is tore up because they're benefiting, as well as the other neighbors, getting all the water from their backyards down my client's side yard, turn in. And the reason why it goes through their front yard, we had to find this part of the sewer, the manhole covers right here. And this is what we've been looking for to connect to. So we were trying to connect it clear up there at the street. The city would not have it, so they had to run it all the way down here. Quite a mess, a lot more work and my client is the one that's having to pay for all this. They've really got a handle on everything. It's been quite the job. So they're still backfilling and they should have this whole thing, sidewalk poured back in place in about five days. So we are getting it done just before when I say we, they, there we go. That's the right way to say it. They will get it all done. Okay, this will be my last stop today. I wanted to come back and check on the uh, stone guys, see how far they got. I'm sure they're not finished. So let's go down, take a look. I don't know where they went, but they got things laid out. This is, I want to show you guys, this is a cultured stone. And when we built this house, they didn't have real stone that you could put on a house. You could do it as a masonry thing, but this is the cosmetic stone. So now we had to go back and find the old stuff. And so we wanted to match the front of the house and that's what this is here. So you can see it has a different finish on the backside where if this is real stone, it would look like this all the way through. So they got everything laid out. Everything's prepped. They got to let this dry before they can come back and start installing uh, the stone on this. So they'll be wrapped up here probably tomorrow afternoon. We have another nice day before winter. So this will be the end of my day right now. I'm going to wrap up, head back home, call it a day. So please subscribe and always like. I'd love to hear from you guys, your comments. And with that, I'm Brad the Builder. I'll see you guys on the next job site.